Hey everybody, um, this is our one week update to the little guinea pig um, experiments that my husband and I have been doing. Um, we've been doing the keto craze that's going on right now that involves intermittent fasting and then bulletproof coffee, oil pulling, and natural toothpaste. So I'm gonna do two videos so it's not too long. This one we're gonna talk about the keto craze. Um, right out of the gate, um, what my concerns are with this, with this diet is the fact that it promotes um, three things that I do not typically encourage. The first is cow's milk dairy products. Cow's milk dairy products are, they cause inflammation in the body. They are not anti-inflammatory. Um, the second is pork. Um, and obviously the concerns here, what they do to the animals. They, they have a lot of steroids, antibiotics, chemicals, all that stuff. And that unfortunately transmits to the meat and the milk. Um, the third is soy, especially for men, soy mimics estrogen and it's just not something that you want to um, have in your diet a lot. So we have not been doing the cow's milk products or the soy or the pork. We've been using other things. Um, the other part of it that concerns me is that it discourages foods that I typically would want to see people eat, like quinoa and farro and beets, um, beans, things like that. I mean, I would much rather see somebody eat, you know, a bowl of quinoa in the evening than a bowl of potato chips or pasta or something like that. So it's very, very aggressive and it's very, very strict. Um, and my concern with that is sustainability. How realistic is it to really do that in the long term? So I would categorize this as of right now to be used as a tool um, for maybe a cleanse, you know, to cleanse and detoxify the body or to even use it as a tool for someone who has a lot farther to go with their weight to jumpstart their weight loss. Um, I, I designed a program to work with clients that, that maybe have a little longer, farther to go with their weight loss, and it's far more aggressive than that. So those are my concerns with um, the keto diet. Now having said that, it took me two days to get into ketosis. It took my husband six days, which that's common with people who have insulin resistance or metabolic syndrome or anything like that. That's common, it can actually take up to three months to, to become positive for ketosis. It did not take us quite that long. Um, in seven days, um, I exercised five of those days and I lost 2.8 pounds. My husband exercised four and lost five pounds. <laughs> and that's the joy of, you know, men. They just typically lose weight faster than women. Plus I'm menopausal, so that's gonna take longer. So um, overall, this is why you test things out. I'm not completely against it, but I think it should be used more of a tool rather than something that you're gonna take on long term. Now, having said that, I'll also say that I believe it was a great, great thing, especially for me, um, to help me get focused, to help me to be more intentional about what I was doing. Um, my husband and I have had a little bit of a stressful summer this summer with some health issues, and I was off for about six weeks, and during that time, I developed some really bad habits with food, and I can honestly say that it's the first time in my life that I've ever actually gone to food for comfort and to cope with things rather than avoiding it. So um, it's really helped me like rein myself in. And sometimes we need a program to, to kind of jerk us up and by the bootstraps and say, okay, hey, it's time to get focused. It's time to become intentional. As far as the intermittent fasting, um, I did a nine hour day fast. My husband, I think, did like 13, 13 and a half hours on his day. Um, again, did a lot of research on that, still, on the fence about it and we're going to play around with some different ways to do it over the next three weeks um i had some apprehensions having battled anorexia i was a little bit concerned is that going to trigger some things and send me down the wrong road um but overall i think it has good health benefits so far i think it does force the body to burn glycogen and therefore <clears throat> force the body to also burn fat so um that's my take on the keto. So what do you think? What's your take on this, this keto? Well, my first thought is that it's a lot easier for a fat guy to lose five pounds <laughs> than for an in-shape <laughs> woman to lose 2.8 pounds. So um, I don't think I did anything any, any more aggressive than what, what she did. But um, I think what it did for me is it really made clear that uh, sugar is the enemy and that's that's the one thing you know I've always tried to exercise and, and eat the good stuff that you make 
uh, eat healthy, but I never have I el totally eliminated sugar to the point that we have in this this past week, and it's uh, it's really made all the difference. I mean, it's just made me feel deflated and lighter and more energetic, and um, it, it's kind of the missing ingredient. Um, I really didn't even. I think it's more important than exercise or anything else that, yeah. that you do. So I think even if I didn't exercise, I still would lost some weight. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, I felt the same way. I definitely physically felt better. But like I said, I had gone from <clears throat> not eating the things I should have been eating and knew I should have been eating them and all that to just really getting strict and intentional. So I hope this one week update has been helpful to you all. Um, stay tuned. We're going to we're gonna keep going. And uh, each week we're going to give you another, another video. And I'm going to post a second video here to talk about the, the other experiments. Thanks for tuning in.